Welcome to the Tool Review Channel. Today we are taking a look at the Weha 11-in-1 multi-bit screwdriver. Now I have previously reviewed this tool on the channel and we are not going to be doing a review on the tool itself. We are actually going to be doing a review on the bits for the tool and how you can replace them if you lose and or break them. Now with one of the most common questions that I get is what do you do uh, when the you either lose a bit from this Weha screwdriver and or you break a bit from this Weha screwdriver because when you go onto Weha's website, you can't buy replacement bits for this uh, screwdriver itself. You can only buy a brand new uh, screwdriver uh, from Weha. And most people, you know, if the screwdriver is still in working condition and all they need is a replacement bit, are going to be more inclined to get that replacement bit than have to buy a whole brand new screwdriver. And people are, have been asking, okay, what do you do when, you know, you lose the bit or whatever. And they weren't sure if the Klein stuff would fit um, the um, shaft and all the little uh, nut drivers and stuff on here. So I figured I would bring in a Klein screwdriver. Uh, this is a Klein 11-in-1, the HVAC 11-in-1. And I would show you that the bits from the Kleins will fit on the Weha's as well. Um, actually, the whole entire shafts are interchangeable, as you can see right here. We'll go ahead and pull this shaft out of the Klein, and we'll pull the one out of the Wii And then we'll go ahead and just insert that Klein one. And as you can see, they are actually interchangeable right there. So if you wanted to, if you did have an old Klein screwdriver sitting around, uh, and you wanted to swap it out and put a Wii handle on it, you can go ahead and do that as well. Um, but as you can see, we're going to take the Schrader core removal and inspection bit off of there. And we are going to take one of the um, flathead and Phillips bits off of the screwdriver. We're going to go ahead and reassemble this guy real quick. And we'll go ahead and pop off that bit from the end. So let's say you lose the um, both of your uh, slotted bits uh, and you need a replacement. Uh, obviously, when you go to Klein Tools or you go to their website, you can buy the replacement bits by themselves. Um, but they're not like Wea. They either they sell them kind of like this where you get the... Um, the Phillips and the uh, slotted in one, they don't just do two slotteds, or at least I haven't seen them do two slotteds as well. Um, so you're going to have to kind of bite the bullet and probably buy two, uh, unless you just want to have three slotteds and one Phillips or vice versa. But as you can see right there, the bits are interchangeable. So if you do end up, ever end up losing a bit off of the tool, you can replace it fairly easily uh, with some of the Klein ones as well. Um, as you can see right there, fits no problem and so we'll go ahead and take that off and we will go ahead and replace this guy again and we will flip the tool around to show you that almost all the bits uh, should fit regardless of the uh, size so as you can see as long as they're that quarter inch uh, size bit uh, and have that uh, little locking pin a uh, little ball uh, bearing locking pin uh, it, it's pretty much interchangeable um, so as you can see if you are looking for replacement bits uh, for your Weha screwdriver, you could definitely head on over to Klein Tools. Uh, they do, I believe Klein sells directly. They have like a Klein Connect, I believe is the website where you can go and buy parts and stuff for screwdrivers uh, and pliers and stuff like that. And that's basically where you can buy a bunch of replacement um, bits if you need it for a mul your multi-driver. Now, I was originally going to convert this into an HVAC 11-in-1 uh, with the Wea handle, but as you can see, that Wea handle compared to a Klein handle is a lot larger in size and takes up a lot more room in a tool bag, hence why I never actually did that. Um, but it is nice to see that the bits are interchangeable, so if anyone is planning on doing that or wants to uh, explore that, Hopefully this video helped you out, um, but that's really about it for this video. So if you uh, have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to leave them down in that comment section below. And if you are new to the channel and you would like to see more content like this, please consider hitting that subscribe button. But that's all I have for today's video, so thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video to be uploaded.